Hi, I'm Auntie Kay, Yard Sales Zarina, here with Uncle Vinti, the Vintage Tool Man, with the Yard Sales Show for May the 6th, 2011. Well, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm back in my normal costume and I have my tiara on. So let me show you what we found this weekend. Not quite as good as last weekend, but still got some pretty neat stuff. Start off over here, I got three, eh, they're not that old, but they're nice for storage and for display. Hat boxes, I paid $2 for the three of them. I found this General Electric steam and dry iron box. And inside this box, I expected to find the General Electric steam and dry iron, but I didn't. I found this guy. He is called a, where did he go? Chrome blade. Chrome, K-R-O-M-E, plate iron. He is an electric iron. I did find he needs some cleaning up. I did find one of, like this online and it sold for $30. I paid $5 for this iron, but it was at a church sale. So, you know, you hate to haggle too much. It's the church, it's kind of a donation. Did you get the cord? Oh. I do have the cord. I also have the cord, so I can actually use this. If I ironed anything, I could use it. All right. Now, at another yard sale, I bought a number of this, this whole set of Halls China. This says Halls Superior. This is autumn leaf pattern. It says, tested and approved by Mary Dunbar, Jewel Homemakers Institute. This is highly collectible. Uh, I would get, and it's in good condition, I would get $10 for the bowls, and 10 to 15 probably on the, each of these bowls, and then 15 to 20 on the pitchers, and this kind of unique food container, this orange thing, it's a little special. On the bottom it says, made exclusively for Westinghouse by the Hall China Company. So I, I think it's in that 15 to $20 range. Now, the reason that I got, I got all of this and a neat old, really nice, neat antique crock for $25. The reason being, was that when I started speaking with a woman, I remembered that a couple years ago, I had bought a really neat old lamp from her. Look at this thing. It's made out of brass. Here is the wall hanger that goes with it. And I reminded her of that and asked her about the story. So she told me the story. It was her aunt. When her aunt was 15 years old, she ran away from home and married a man who owned a speakeasy in, what was the town? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Apparently this man was quite well off. He built her a mansion, and this was one of the lights out on their front porch. So anyway, she told me the story. You build those relationships, and it paid off. I got a really good deal on my hallsware. All right, so what else did I buy? <clears throat> Up in Severna Park, a gorgeous waterfront home, I bought this neat old General Electric clock. It's a number 7H140. I saw one similar for $30, but that one actually was from a company that gave a guarantee. So Uncle Vinci's going to fix it, make it run, and give him a guarantee. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, can you see in the back here? At that church sale, I bought this Harper's Made in England balance scale. I'm looking for it. Uh, Harper's Balance Scale. I paid $3 for the scale. I saw one that sold on eBay for $30, but it had the weights with it. So you would have different weights. You put them over here and then balance your scale. So I'm going to have to find some weights, but I will. Okay, what else did I get? That's a little trinkety thing. Side of a box. Top of the line, California Fresh Asparagus. I paid a buck for that. It actually has a little hook. It's meant to hang up on the wall. That's probably not worth a whole lot. All right, 
And at that same place where I got that, I got a Bromwell sifter. This is in really good shape. These things sell for, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. No, I paid a quarter for it, sorry. But that dollar thing. Uh, I also got from her a couple of Crocs. These are kind of neat. McCormick Platte Valley Straight Corn Whiskey. I did pay a dollar for that Croc. It's probably worth 10, maybe 15. This thing was really cool. It says Lane Dales Pure Olive Oil, established 1745. This is a company in England, but I couldn't find this. I, I looked, I've saved it. I'm sure it'll come up eventually, but I couldn't find this. But I still think it's neat, it's got writing, it's collectible. It's from 1985. So um, this might be a com commemorative crock. But uh, anyway, I think it's worth 10, maybe 15. Then I got this <laughs> at yet another uh, estate sale in Severna Park. And we bought this, I don't know what we paid, three bucks for this. Someone obviously was gonna make this into a lamp. And uh, that's, I suspect we will do that also. We'll make this into a lamp and sell it as a lamp. And then one other, Uncle Vinti actually found this. This is a really nice small Native American pot. Navajo. Navajo. It does say Navajo. There might be a number up there, but that's okay. We paid a dollar for that. Your chimney. My chimney. Uncle Vinti also found this at the church sale. It's a really nice chimney. Uh, we paid a dollar for that. So that those were my finds for yesterday. Now Uncle Vinti's going to show you what he got. What what are we doing? Okay, there you go. Um, I'm going to try to hold the camera still. Someone complained that I moved the camera around too much. There we go. I'm holding. I actually found this. This is a, a jack plane. Uh, it's made by the Auburn Manufacturing Company. Uh, they went out of business in 1893, so this is quite old. Oh, it's really neat, too. We'll clean that up. Uh, this is a bad house that we found. Uh, <laughs> we paid $2 for that. It's, it's brand new. It's never been used. And this is probably worth about 20 The jack is probably worth about 30 um, This is an exterior light uh, shade. I uh, paid $0.25 cents for that. Uh, this is some stainless steel decking screws. I tend to buy stainless steel screws whenever I find them in the box. This is 50 cents for a partial box. Uh, a, a full box would cost about 15 bucks or so. This is a charger, battery, battery charger. charger uh, for rechargeable batteries. It accepts whatever, all, all the different sizes of batteries. I paid $2 or a dollar for that, actually. And it works. Woohoo! This is a bracket that I, that was in a free box, and I grabbed that. <laughs> we and like free. That's it for our finds. Where are for, you? There you. May the sixth, two thousand and eleven. Yeah, we'll be back with the stuff that's out in the garage in a minute. Bye.